Hi everybody and welcome back to the hard just info to know. Today as you can see I do have the iPhone 17 Pro Max and I'm going to tell you how to set up this iPhone. Now first we have to swipe from the app to the uh, top and here now we have to select our preferred language. For me it's English. Here now we have to select our country or region which is Poland for me. But as you can see here, they have a list from of, of countries that you can select your country from. For me, as I said, it's Poland, which is over here. We have now setting language. And now we have, as you can see, appearance. Choose how you would like text. And I can still go on iPhone medium, large or default. I will have on default. Here as you can see we can quickly set up iPhone uh, from our previous device but we will do it without any other device. Here now we have to choose a Wi-Fi network. For example this one. Here getting this keyboard we have to click this bottom left corner and tap and click. Enter our password and now we can click this arrow to proceed with the next step. Now we are connected to our Wi-Fi network and now we have to wait, wait a few minutes to activate our iPhone. It will all be set automatically. As you can see here we now have a software update but we can do it after so we can tap update later. Here now we have to continue to agree for data and privacy and now here as you can see we have age range. Of course I'm adult so I will set adult. Now I can configure the face ID I can continue. Now as I can see we have how to set up face ID. At first we need to position our face at the center of the circle and then we have to move tilt our head up and do a circle. Get started. Let's get my face to the circle and now we have to tilt our head up right, down, left and now we are done. Here our iPhone will ask us to if we use Face ID with the mask we can tap set up later in the settings. Now we can click continue and create an iPhone passcode. I will type 123456. Here you can enter your own that you have used earlier on your previous phone or something like that. Here, if you have that it can be easily guessed, you can click use anyway and enter it back again. Now we have to wait a moment. And here, as you can see, now we have to um, transfer. We can actually transfer our data from the previous iPhone or Android or Mac or PC under iPhone from iCloud backup. I will tap, don't transfer anything. Here, now we can log in with our Apple account. So we have to click this email label over here and tap, type here our mail. So in a moment I need to log into my account. Now as you can see my mail is inserted, we have to now enter our password. Here now we are logging in and now we have get the code. So I need to insert my code here. Now I'm in the meantime in the process of inserting code and now if you have inserted our code that we have got on our phone it will redirect us straight to the setting in process. Here as a case we do have terms and conditions. We have to either send my email here or read that aloud here or tap agree. signing in. It may take a while, don't worry. This whole iPhone is going to be set it up. Set up. And of, of course after the setup there are some background processes so don't be worried if your iPhone will be lagging for I don't know one day at maximum.
Here, as you can see, after this process, we will see, make this your new iPhone. We have to either click continue and here set settings of our previous iPhone and or click customize over here. Here, as you can see, we have update your iPhone automatically. Let's click continue because it's useful. Here, as you can see, we have location services. We can either set up later or turn on location services. I will turn it on. Now we can set up our mobile service and we'll set up it later. Here as you can see we have screen time, we can click continue. We can set all this up to our own preferences. Here I will click don't share. Now we can set light or dark mode in our phone. I will select light. Now we can continue. And here we can set up Apple Intelligence. Let me set up it for example right now. Here as you can see we have summarize notifications. We can click choose notifications to summarize over here. Here as you can see we have news and entertainment, communication and social, and all other apps. You can click summarize all notifications, turn on priority notifications, etc. Here as you can see we have camera control button which is over here. And now click our control to open a camera app, click again to take a photo. We can enable that. Light research system, explosion more, continue. Visual intelligence with camera control, we can click continue. Click now here as I can see we have this action button, which is silent mode and not default, but we can click customize to change it or tap not now to not customize. I think that most of us use it as a silent button. Here as you can see we have emergency SOS. iPhone is ready to have uh, in an emergency. Press and hold for emergency SOS, which is the set button and either volume button uh, to make an emergency call, crowd detection, and in select the country's emergency SOS via satellite. It is an information how to use that. We can click continue here. And now we can click finally get started. And now as you can see here we do have our iPhone. That's how to set up the iPhone. And as I said, that's it, how it helps you. And I hope that your iPhone will be forever yours. Goodbye.